guys welcome back to my channel in this video i am gonna teach you how to create a chat app in thumbnail so you have to come to thumbnail and create a new app name chat app chat app and press enter and you will be redirected to the designer page of the app and you have to search in the search bar like um, first we will design a login screen so for that we have to add a column and um button i think a text input box inside this text input and a button a button okay so the design is um, so you have to come to column and vertical change the vertical alignment to space around and change the button to te uh, text to like caps lock in white a friend friend okay and change the font size to 20 and change the button one text to um, caps lock let's chat okay change the font size to 20 type zoom key here zoom key here or we can just type uh, nickname here okay so the user has to give this two information to enter a room to chat with and uh, like other nickname here okay so change the background picture of the screen screen so i'm changing the background color background picture to you can pick any of the picture from the google i have taken this picture from google or it will take some time to upload your asset okay as you can see my asset is uploaded here okay give it some time like mm. okay let us go now you have to come to just create a new screen in which you are gonna create a room and chat with other so for that you have to insert a list viewer and now a row a row and inside the row you have to add a button button and a text input box text input box and just drag it upside of the list row and uh, downside of the list row and make the height as fit contents and change the button text to caps lock send okay after that you have to just change the button mm -hmm. button name to button send <coughs> and the type here text input hint as type message here type message here okay now all things are done come to blocks and no i think in the design you have to add two components and share okay so with this component you can invite your friend with a click of a button and then a real time db mm, through on, on the base of it we are gonna chat with other okay so open a new tab and come to firebase.google.com and click on get started okay and add a project named caps lock caps lock chat 
removing and click on continue continue select an account default account uh, for firebase and come to thank you okay um, first um, when button chat means button one click we have to just click if and uh, if else if if else if and else okay if if from text input to get text is equal to null then set text to the then set hint as like room name required required or uh, you can just copy this um, condition or uh, and you can make this text input two as text input one and you can just also copy this and paste and you can change the text input two as text input one and change the text as make name required okay make name required or if um, both of this condition will get false we have to just execute this else condition so in this condition first you have to initialize three variables one for name one for um, this um, room name and one for this chat to store what is um, what are you typing okay um, variable name and so come to variables again and then set app name as from text input one get text or you can um, let me explain it we are fetching text from this text input box as our name of the user and we are fetching like um, data from this text input box as room name or room key okay in front text input one get text okay now you can just copy and paste this set app room name to text input to get text and we are thinking why we have initialized this variable you will see the like use of this variable in the next new screen okay and name set the name initializing while we are initializing this name you have to just go to logic and take this null and put it in this okay now copy this and one more thing in this chat variable you have to come to this list empty list and just try this okay after that you have to make your device vibrate and navigate to screen to the simple our first first screen design is complete so let's come to firebase and see what is the progress okay it is completed give yes, some time okay now you have you will be redirected this to display the page and you have to click on this web icon or you can just type here like chat room or you can type anything and register app so wait for it and then let me come on this screen too so this is our chat screen where many people can chat uh, in one room um, very easily okay one thing we forgot then like when button invite click 
what will happen we have to give the user as a sharing option for that uh, when button invite click we have to use share message as hi if so for this also we have to add this if else block same share message and the message should be like I am first add a join block in the message mm. hi let's chat on chat room with this this room name mm, okay. and app room name and go to the setting and item come to text and take the new line block in text as come and let me take what I am waiting I am waiting waiting Okay. I'm waiting. Okay. Now our first screen design is done. And after you, will, if you will come to Firebase, you will see a screen like this. You have to just copy this API key. Okay. Come to the real-time DB go to Firebase setting scroll down and you will see uh, like Firebase five setting and then paste the API key here and come to the again the Firebase and take this database URL without quotation mark without quotation mark you have to copy the database URL and paste it here okay now our database setup is complete now you can just scroll down and continue to console and come to real time db real time database means this will be a real time db also and create a database start in test mode enable We have to go to real time db and call add listener for the variable room key. Okay, room name. Or now, when real time db changed, we have to go to list in list 
insert at last in, in, remember we have initialized a variable named chat so there's a use of the variable chat so we are just storing the value of the um, this value in the form of list inside this variable chat so after that we will just display this um, message on list viewer so take the same text item as go to variable and tick add chat okay now all things are done and one more thing when button send click when button send click we have to just um, take real time db call save key named um, key we are just getting the value from app room name and this value is being like text go to text and take the join block and just make another item no i don't think so another item to click okay so you can just type in the text for like um, delete delete take another item variable app name text should be this one and then the message okay so from text input get text so all set now I will be testing this app in my next video so thanks for watching